Tom Lester is a classic TV icon, best known for his role as Eb Dawson, a farmhand to Oliver Douglas on Green Acres. Lester was born on September 23, 1938 in Laurel, Mississippi. He was the son of Pat and Mary Sue Lester. In 1948, Lester became a Christian and felt God calling him to Hollywood, California to become an actor. After moving to Hollywood and beating over 400 other actors, Lester was cast to play the role of Eb Dawson on Green Acres. Green Acres aired from 1965 through 1971, starring businessman Eddie Albert and the dazzling Ava Gabor, who moved from New York City to a country farm. Here are some of my favorite clips of the hilarious and charming Tom Lester as Eb Dawson in the American sitcom Green Acres. Drink your soup while the water is hot. Nobody in their right mind would drink hot water soup. I'm sorry, I kept you waiting. I will... Oh boy, hot water soup! <laughs> Nobody in their right mind would. Hmm? That's what I said, and there's your living proof. Golly, I always say Mrs. Douglas makes the best hot water soup in the valley. You like it? Oh, yeah. It's finger licking good. <laughs> Saving the hardwoods for last. Oh, God, I know that. What is it? You hold her head, I'll give her a shot in a rum. That's it. I ought to give you a shot in the head for making me live in this dump. Where's your phone, Doc? In there. Thank you. <laughs> but a square egg, that's ridiculous. Well, you're the one who wanted to live on a farm. What's that got to do with it? Morning. Hey, somebody's toast is burning. Bye. <laughs> Ain't that a square egg? Oh, uh, yeah. How'd you do it, Mr. Douglas? Oh, no, I didn't do it. No, somebody's playing a joke on us. They planted the egg. I didn't know you could plant eggs. No, I didn't mean that. I, no, this is a phony. Yeah, there's nothing inside of it, but... Uh... <laughs> no. How'd you do that? Put a round egg in a square shell? <laughs> I didn't do it. It's real. Oh, well, it couldn't be. Why not? One of the chickens must have made a mistake. A mistake? I can't explain it. Maybe you can explain this. Explain what? Mmm. Chocolate malted. I know. I just got it out of Eleanor. <laughs> what? Not only that, I got a pail of strawberries from her. There's one of boysenberry and one of pistachio. Different flavor from each tap. <laughs> Going, didn't I? Uh, very funny. Some practical joke. Uh, why would Eleanor play a practitioner's joke? <laughs> Not Eleanor Ebb. Did you put that square egg out there? No, sir. Ebb, no hen lays a square egg. No, they lay three of them. Oh, that's impossible. <laughs> Don't tell me. Tell whoever did it. <laughs> Do you have any idea which hen laid these eggs? Could be any one of six. Oh, you got a new toaster. You know, it's the same old one. <laughs> it's gone berserk. It's clicking on all numbers. I'm not surprised. The way you yelled at it, it doesn't know what it is. <laughs> Which hen do you think laid the eggs? I don't know. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to find out. All we gotta do is look for a square chicken. <laughs> After Green Acres, the Mississippi native returned home, worked as a farmer, and later became a Christian evangelist. Lester traveled the nation, preaching his message of faith and sharing his testimony. Hi, folks. I'm Tom Lester, better known as Old Eb from TV's Green Acres. And I became a Christian when I was 10 years old. As a 10-year-old boy, I began to realize and understand through talking to my parents and going to church and talking to my pastor that I was a sinner, I began to feel impressed that God wanted me to go to Hollywood, California and become an actor. And this thought stayed with me until I was a senior in high school and about ready to go into college at 
first time I was about as tall as I am right now and weighed about uh, 118 pounds. <laughs> I guess I was a male twiggy of my day. And so my friend said, well, what would you like to do for a living? And I said, I'd like to go out to Hollywood, California, become an actor. And they said, oh, my goodness alive, you'll never make that. You're too tall, you're too skinny, you're too ugly, you got a southern accent, and you don't look like Rock Hudson. And uh, so I thought, well, if I've got to look like Rock Hudson to get in the motion picture business, I might as well stay in Laurel, Mississippi. And so I graduated from high school, thought about becoming a doctor, went to the University of Mississippi, graduated with a degree in chemistry and biology, and, and med school was not what God wanted for me. And then I taught school for a year, and it's a wonderful profession, but I knew it was not what God wanted me to continue to do. Because I felt in my heart God wanted me to go out to Hollywood and become an actor. So I just uh, told my mom and dad, I said, I'm going out to Hollywood and I'm going to try to get in the movies. And if I don't make it, that's okay. At least I'm going to try. And folks, I'd have rather gone out there and tried and failed than never to have gone at all. And so away I went to Hollywood, California. No job, no place to stay, didn't know anything about the motion picture business. But I knew that this is what God wanted for me. And sure enough, through our church out in Hollywood, California, found a little Baptist church out there. I met Lorene Tuttle, a wonderful drama coach. And uh, she told me, Tom, you're, you need to have some uh, work done uh, on your acting. And she said, and I'm going to send you out to the North Hollywood Playhouse and, uh, where they do little showcases and plays. And I said, okay. And so through studying with her and going out to the North Hollywood Playhouse, and each one of the showcases we did was a young lady by the name of Lenny K. Henning. And uh, her dad is Mr. Paul Henning, the creator, producer, and writer of Beverly Hillbillies, Petticoat Junction executive producer of Green Acres. And so Mr. Henry would come to see his daughter and he saw me and liked me. And he came up and talked to me for a long time. He said, Tom, I like your accent. And maybe one of these days I'll be able to put you on the Beverly Hillbillies. And so several weeks went by and I began to pray really hard. And I said, God, if you don't want me to be an actor, I'm ready to go back to Mississippi. I'm a country boy and I'm ready to go back. And I didn't come out here to Hollywood, California just to work in a chemical lab, which is where I was working until I got on Green Acres. And I said, however, if you want me to stay, Lord, I'll do whatever you want me to do. But I believe come Christmas when I get my vacation, I'll just go on back to Mississippi. And uh, about three weeks went by, and early one Saturday morning, Mrs. Henning called me on the phone, and she says, Tom, Mr. Henning wants you to go over to the studio and try out for the part of Ebb on Green Acres, but don't get your hopes up because they want an older man. And she said, they've tested already about 400 guys. So I went over and read for our producers and our director, Mr. Jay Summers, Mr. Dick Chevrolet. And uh, they said, we want you to do a screen test on Monday with Eddie Albert. I did a screen test on Monday with Mr. Eddie Albert, Mr. Douglas on Green Acres. And the following Thursday, they called me up and said, Tom, we're going to make you happy. And I said, yes. And they said, you got the part of Ebb on Green Acres. And folks, the amazing thing, and I went to Hollywood with absolutely no experience at all. And out of all the millions and millions of people out there, little theater groups all over that town, I wind up in a television show. Tom Lester passed away on April the 20th, 2020, due to complications of Parkinson's disease. Tom Lester will be missed deeply, but we will remember his smile, laugh, and kind heart forever. <laughs>